is different. Let's on kawale. Here you go with apple sauce. Looks good. Mong Thomas. Mong Thomas. <laughs> what do you call it? Mong Thomas. Ah, Mong Thomas. Thomas. Mong Thomas, shut up. Let me. Let me kayo. Tastes like popcorn. Tastes like popcorn. I don't taste like popcorn. Pataka mo lang kawai. Muradong popcorn, bu. <laughs> oh, di ba? Sarap nyan. Oh, dali. Kain tayo. Kain tayo mga labs. Ayan. Mm. It's a bone. Mm. <laughs> Ayan po eh. Towards me. It's alright. Quick, just a small one. I'm allowed to do that. Right there. Mm -hmm. Mga unta, maing hapon, may ugto, nambuntag diya, may gabi eh, Pilipinas. Mga unta oh. Hindi may nito. What? Ang litsun kawali nila, para siyang ano, litsun kawali, it's a pork belly, right? Pork belly yata ito, yung tawag sa atin. Tapos walang kanin, patay tayo dyan. Did you order rice? No. No rice? I figure that's a staple. Yeah. They should just bring it for to us. You gotta have a rice too. Eat with the... Mm. Ba? Mga unta ninyo, mga, mga kasinyora diha. Langau, dia hak. Hey, macam lucun kawale. Lucun kawale. Ang langau pun makan kain. Mengaun taninya, mengalabs. Buana Stardust, everyone. Again. Again. This is a new one. Hmm. Um. Mang Tumas. Sao Sao. Nalag lag na. Ah, you lost it. I lost it. This bee, man. Alright. Loves me. It's not gonna do anything to you. Do you know, lucky you didn't sit over here because the sun is pointing right on my eyeball. Now you can move on in the other direction. Guys, the reason why I'm going like this because the the sun is facing towards my face. Sige lang. Naanad na ta sa guys, what time mahimo diha? My husband always corrects me. Why do you say guys all the time? <laughs> Don't say anything, just talk. This is a lot of fat. Papa mo may ari ng ano? Your dad owns the Filipino restaurant, or you just work there? Ah, ito po, itong ano lang, itong ano this place lang. Huh? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Mel's blog and adventure. Oh. Okay, salamat. salamat thank you. Mm. You're welcome. Enjoy. Will do. Thank you. Pwede pa yung kanin? Uh, gusto niya ng isang bol. Isang bol kanin niya. Add, add, add into our bill. Oh, uh -huh. thank you. I asked him for rice. Isn't I think I think I'm gonna move because the sun. The sun is pointing in my eyes. And... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh. Nani, liko tayo dito. Makain yung asawa ko ng pansit. Tingnan nyo. My husband eats pansit. <laughs> He has no choice. 
American Filipino. Filipino. American Filipino, ano? Americano kung tawagin sa Spanish. Sa Espanyol, they say, Americano eats rice and... <laughs> well, what happened when you're married to a Filipina? When you're married to a Filipina, you'll be able to eat Filipino food, di ba? Mackers. Or uh, mackers. Guys, uh, I see it again. I'm gonna get in trouble. Stop saying gas. <laughs> mga unta ninyo, mga, mga higala. Mga unta, mga on. Mga on means uh, liti. Ayan. We have pancit. Pancit. Saka mayroon kaming rice. Nanghingi ako ng rice. Kasi masarap mag... Uh, masarap mag rice ng ano. Tama mo, ang, ang ano nila, ang haba o. Oh. Long life. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. That's hot. Long life, guys. Long life. You want some veg? I have. Thank you. Ang kahaba ng buhay. Ay, oh, kahapon birthday ko din. Oh, belated happy birthday. Wow. Tapos sabi ng mama ko, dapat kumain ka naman. Yes. I didn't know. Oh, now you know. Um, it's it's actually true. What's that? People people think it's superstitious, mm -hmm. but all my life they said that you you have to eat this to give you to be able for you to lo to live longer life. What? No spaghetti. <laughs> no spaghetti. She's in a hurry because the boss is calling her. Your dad? Dad's probably calling her. Hurry up! You need to deliver this food. <laughs> Kanin. Kanin. Oh, the rice is a lot better. It looks better. Oh. Thank you. Wow, looks good. Thank you. Now, ganda sarap. Tingnan. Thank you, my dear. You know how to cook that. That's a sisig, chicken sisig, guys. It looks good, super so good. I think I like this restaurant rather than the one, uh, the one in uh, El Porto. There was a restaurant in El Porto, guys. That uh, my husband and I goes. He always takes me to the Filipino restaurant because he thinks that uh, I miss my Filipino food. So he takes me over there. He's being sweet. He takes me over there and he always he always kind of surprised me. He doesn't tell me. He doesn't he doesn't tell me that we are going to a Filipino restaurant. So we get there and I get surprised. I was like, "Really? We're here in a Filipino restaurant? Oh my gosh." And uh, you can see my big smile on my face. <laughs> he says, "I know that you like your Filipino food." So, guys, I'm very lucky. How lucky am I? I can't be any luckier than that. What do you do with this egg? Right? So, signed off, guys. I'm gonna eat. So, I think you have to uh, break that up. Cook it. Like, yeah, there you go. So, if you like it, you can mix it up. It's still hot. All right, here we go. So take 14, I think, maybe on this one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna interview Melanie May um, by her husband, which I'm no good at this. So if, if it shakes, it shakes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So anyway, introducing Melanie May, as you all know her. Um, Mel, where are you living right now? I live in Rota. So where at in Rota? Uh, Spania. Espana Hotel. Oh, Espadaña. La Espadaña Hotel. Hotel. So why aren't you in a house yet? Uh, because uh, we just got here and uh, we're still looking for a house and we haven't seen a house that we really like to move in Haven't you been yet. here for like almost six weeks? Uh, we've been here almost six weeks, correct, yes. Wow, and you still haven't found a place to live? Uh, my husband's kind of Slack, huh? uh, slacking. He's slacking away. No, car? he's not. He's not slacking away. He's still looking for the perfect uh, uh, home for us. My car is still on the sea. Uh, it's floating away to Spain. <laughs> so you can just touch that. Yeah. yeah, so I can just touch the screen when the screen goes blank. <laughs> yes, you so, do. Lo sienta. Lo sienta. <laughs> um, 
All right. So, what do you plan on doing while you're in Spain? Um, bludgeon around, or uh, probably bludge around for a little bit, and then uh, uh, if I have a right to work, I'll probably find a job. Um, we'll see. Um, you gonna learn how to speak Spanish? And uh, by January, they have a school for speaking Spanish, so maybe I'm in it or be in it to win it. <laughs> Right. Yes. So she'll be going by herself, so stay tuned yeah. to see if she follows through with that. Yeah. Because I will not be here at that time. Uh, she'll be on her own. Yeah. Which will be fun for her. Well, um, I'll be back in the cold. Anyway, it won't be long, but uh, we'll see if she actually gets into that class. Um, so what, what do you like most about Spain? I like the most about Spain because it, it reminds me of Townsville, Australia, where I met my husband. Wow, do a lot of people speak Spanish in Townsville, Australia? Oh, there are some people that speak. I know one person that speaks Span Spanish because uh, she used to live here in Rota and her name is Vanessa. Shout out Vanessa from Townsville. She Hi. lived in Rota. What, what yes. was she doing in Rota? Um, her and her husband uh, used to live here, and he used to work here. Oh yeah, just like me, right? Yes, so, yes, Vanessa from Townsville, shout out. So yeah, by the way, we're not in Rota at the moment. We're with the paint right there on the side of the buildings. Um, yeah, this is Jaraz de la Frontera. It's not too far away, only about 35 kilometers from where we're staying at the moment. Um, but it's nice. We're up chasing motorcycle things for me to go riding and for uh, Mel to get upset with me about it. It's okay. We'll all work work out in the wash. Um, anyhow, what's 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 some of what's one thing you dislike about living here? Uh, dislike about uh, Pero. Um, the dog. They, they let the dog just pull on the street, and uh, some of them pick them up. Some of them do not pick them up. So you kind of uh, beware when you're walking on. The, you look at the ground because you, so, you yeah, know, if like, you're not per, if you're not careful, you step on it. So there's like little landmines everywhere. Um, so you can't just walk along without looking down on the ground. Uh, what else? Anything else you don't like about it? Uh, I don't like the way people drive their car and they stop on the runabout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Mel has yet to drive in Spain after almost six weeks. So we'll see how well she does on these big, big roundabouts. They're not small roundabouts like Australia. They're pretty big. It can be three, four, five lanes wide. Uh, so we'll see how she does. She complains about my driving on it. I'm, I'm a bit aggressive, but it's okay. I haven't hit anybody yet. I don't plan to. So, Cross finger. Uh, yeah. So what are you doing in Jerez right now? Uh, we're over here in a Filipino restaurant, as you can see right behind me. Uh, there's a Filipino restaurant in Jerez, uh, Spain, Span Spanol <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> but uh, Slas Filipino restaurant. So pretty much the girl that works there, I think they own the restaurant. She speaks uh, fluent Spanol and she speaks a little bit of Tagalog as far as I know. So anyway, I'm getting a pancet. Uh, let's on kawale and what's the other one? Chicken sisig. Chicken sisig, guys. They don't have pork sisig. So let's go and try this chicken sisig they're talking about. And so how about? She, how, she's coming right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna sign off. So take it easy, guys. See you later. All right. We're gonna eat right now. Check See that you. out. Bye. He's making a fried ice cream right there. How's it doesn't melt? <laughs> Good job, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Where are we? 
Caref de la Frontera. Caref. At the Filipino uh, restaurant. Si. Sí. Good morning, everyone. Hola, everybody. Uh, buenas tardes, everybody. Uh, we're over in Jerez, the Filipino restaurant right there, as you can see. Um, he surprised me. He's he's like, we're going here. I was like, where? Uh, over here. I was like, well, there's no shopping center there. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's like, uh, we're here. I was like, where is this? And then I look at the windows and look what I see. A Filipino restaurant. Mga loves. Daghan salamat sa akong asawa di ara. <laughs> so today today is Saturday in Spain. We are just window shopping. Uh, we're looking at uh, motorbike gear because he wants to go riding with his BMW motorbike that he doesn't own yet that he doesn't own yet but pretty soon guys he loves his motorbike so we let him go he can go riding give me some time by myself you know or maybe i can go ride with him it all depends <laughs> so we went out looking for a gear and we didn't find any um i guess uh he's very specific when it comes to uh his own gear with his own motorbike not so. dying not dying he said so what are you uh really looking for what brand it's not just such a brand it's a coat that will a jacket that will fit me and a helmet that i i know where to get the helmet so, so where do you where do you get the helmet from so it's the last motorcycle shop we went to not this one yeah so the jacket what brand are you looking for um doesn't really matter just as long as it, as long as it fits you yes so and none of those fit me because I think they're half of them were made in China. Yeah, but they're like four. Yeah, but they were made like in China. Four, even the like even a, the long one. Like a four X and uh, be even, no way I'd fit it. Even a 4X. even the long one, the long one that I gave you, that's like three four X. Yeah. They fit you. You just picky. That's, that's Asian four X. Yeah, I know. You just picky. Yeah, no, it's Asian four X. There's no like, way that'd be a four X in the states. Yeah, but it fits you. No, it did not. Because when I stretched. Oh, so when it when it when, when it crunch? When, when no 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 when I stretched out yeah it popped open so meaning the velcro came undone. So that means it's not a right size. No, it's right? too tight. And what kind of what kind of shoe are you gonna wear? I'll figure that, Is that out later. That hard one? What hard one? That boot that, that shoe that I picked up was like it's nice, hard nice. and it's heavy. Yeah, nice. Oh my God, do I, that that means I have to wear one of those or just no you? because you won't be out in the dirt with me like that. Oh, you really want to go to the dirt? No way. Darling, you're not, you're not baby, you're not, you're not a teenager anymore. It's good. I guess I can be a teenager out there in the dirt. Jumping around and being in the dirt? Yeah. You think you can handle that? With being 50 years old? No, just Man. don't come home and say, oh, my don't body's come home. sore. I'll don't come sore. home when you're sore. It's okay. Because I will have to like tell you, I was like, what? You need massage now. Sweet. That's a good reason to go get a massage, right? What? Get hurt and then come home. <gasps> Whoa, Mel. Chiropractor. Maybe a chiropractor. Chiropractor. Sweet. You always said that. You said you want to go and uh, uh, see a chiropractor and you never did. There you go. So maybe this is the time when you go out riding and you get hurt. So hopefully you don't get hurt. And that would be that would be hard when when you get hurt. It would be like, David, no more riding, please. So with, uh, if I tell you stop riding, would you? No. Why? I rode way before I met you, right? So. Yeah, but you're married now. Yeah. You're married to me. Okay. And you're stuck with me. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you stuck with me forever, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just mucking around here, mucking around, joking around. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, everyone. And thank you for those uh, supported my channel. And 
thank you for subscribers uh, without you guys I won't be here um, certainly super duper happy that I've been uh, noticed by uh, Papa Papa YouTube gave me an approve <laughs> He approved my command. Oh. Papa, Papa YouTube and Papa Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much. Without, without those two uh, tools, uh, without, it, without it, I won't be here talking to you guys. And I won't be here uh, to give you more um, videos. So thank you so much and welcome to uh, my channel. Thank you so much for viewing all my videos, listening to my hush hush voice. Uh, thank you so much. Sana po hindi kayo magsasawa. I hope you will never get tired of listening to my voice and looking at my uh, ugly face, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, kaya kasi sabi ng hubby ko, he told me, he says, Oh, how come you're uh, always says guys? I mean, because guys are folks. It's the same thing. But he prepared me saying folks than uh, saying guys. It's more appropriate uh, when you say folks instead of guys, which is it makes sense. But sometimes I forget. Hey, what can you do? <laughs> Whoopie doo! <laughs> Whoopie doo doo! <laughs> so look, look at all the the people that's on that Filipino restaurant. You see anyone over here? Not many. Not many. Um, not many people eating right now. Because it is a still Spaniel time, right? Yeah, it's still not lunch. Yet. Okay, so guys, uh, in Spain, there is two things that people have. Uh, let's say we are Americano people. Americano people have their lunch on time. Like our lunch would be 12 o'clock. To Spanish people, uh, their lunch is around like, what time, darling? What time did they have lunch? Uh, so around two to three, somewhere around there. Two to two to three lunch two, until what time? Two or three, I don't know. So yeah. Five. To five o'clock in the afternoon, right? Oh, sorry, sorry. Four or five. Yeah, four or five, and then um, their um, their dinner they don't start to like their dinner doesn't start to like eight. Uh, until like midnight so they're pretty much uh, American and uh, Spanish people they do not have the same time lunch their lunch is a bit later than ours like breakfast our breakfast is like you can go down and have breakfast around 8 and uh, for Spanish people they go down for breakfast at like 11 o'clock uh, 10 11 o'clock EM and on the way up whenever <laughs> so their breakfast is like 11 all the way and then you can have brunch you know lunch you can stay they stay there forever so that's just a Europe thing to do anyway guys folks thank you so much and we'll see you in my next video or, or whenever I come back or signed off guys signed off